everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. Welcome back. Um, today we are going to play with my second and third, well actually my fourth, uh, third and fourth, I had to think, uh, favorite of all time art supply, okay? And it's something you guys have seen me use over and over and over again, and I just can't seem to get enough of them. We're going to take this out. That's our book review. We're going to deal with that later. And the number three is, can you guess it? Can you guess it? All right, I'll share. Stencils! I love my stencils. There are just so many out there, and and they're just so much fun. I like this one. This one's really cool. We're going to use that today. Um, I just got these. I order my stencils from Blitzy. That's where I've always gotten my stencils from. Uh, I like to stay in the 6x6 six six size frame if I can. And I will show you why. These are all 6x6 six six stencils. Um, I had found these envelopes. They're supposed to go into a binder, but I find the binder is more of a pain in the butt <laughs> than this box. Um, and what I do is I'll just grab out a handful, and they're front and back, so I'll usually sit here and flip through the front and back. Let me see if you guys can see it. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'll take that one. Yeah, I'll take this one. Yeah, I'll take that one. And that's how I look through my stencils. Is that the most efficient way? Probably not. Um, I do have some extras of these. I don't even know where I got these, to be honest with you. It says... What's it say on it? Hmm. Can't read it. Let me see if I can put it against a darker color. American Crafts, I think it says on it. These are texture plates that I found in a reuse center. Oh, that's what these are. So, they're stuck here in my stencil box. But anyway, so when I get new stencils, I am not good at knowing whose they are. Um... I take them out of the packaging. This is a Echo Park Paper Company stencil. You know, I probably should keep all that information, but I don't. I take them out, I put them in here, and then I'll put them to the front of the box. Now, what I like to do is when I am grabbing stencils out, I will normally go to the front of the box, and then when I get done with this bunch at the front of the box, I'll put them in the back. And then that way, when I grab again, I'm using different sten stencils each time. So that's what I try to do. Um, here's one of them. This one does not go in there. This will go in a pack. Ugh. So again, this is, I just take them out. This is an art mask by Cara Bell Studio. That's a cool background. I might save that piece of paper, but I'm not going to save all the plastics. So that's on the front side, this is on the back side. Now it would be really cool if I was efficiently organized and I wrote the name and the name of the stencil and all that stuff on there. I, I don't I don't have time for that. So anyways, <laughs> um, today I want to use this. This is a crafter's, no this is a TCW stencil. The crafter's warehouse, or workshop, warehouse, workshop. Why do I always get that wrong? I always want to call it the Crafter's Warehouse, and it's not. It's the Crafter's Workshop. And this one is done by a, oh my gosh, I'm going to slaughter this name, Marlene Meyer Van Niekirk. That's what I'm going to say. And I just, I thought this stencil was really cool. All right, so this is my third must-have, most coveted. I've got to have them. They're just, and I've got to have all of them. Um art supply which is stencils all right and now what do we use look at this this shows all more of them um, different ones floral wreath roses this one is called the abstract triangle I thought that was cool uh, what do we use with them well what do you guys think I use I always use I could have another one for those 
Um, I always use paints. Now, I, I'm i going to go out on a limb here, and I'm going to tell you right now what my most favorite paint is. And you're going to think I'm crazy. Dana Wakeley's. I love the way this paint lies down. Um, I love the way, you know, it's, it's small bottles. It doesn't dry up. It's a heavy body. It's got beautiful colors. Um, I just, I really, really enjoy this paint. So, Dina Wakely, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love your paint. All right, so this is, if I have to go to a paint, um, one that I really enjoy working with, this is going to be the first go-to, which is my Dina Wakely's. This is my uh, yellows, pinks, and purples. My blues and greens are in another container. So, anyways, now... A lot of people go to, they have these little stencil brushes that, oh, look at this. I found this in an antique shop. Isn't that cool? So they'll have their little, you know, they do this stuff. I, nah, nah, I'm not into that. I like makeup sponges. And the reason I like makeup sponges is a couple. One, they're small. Two, they're easy to deal with. Three, they're easy to clean. Four, they're cheap, right? And you can get them anywhere basically anywhere. So I enjoy using the stencils. I'm sorry, the stencils with these. So what I do, and I'll bring this over here so you can see it, is I've just got some purple and some pink here on my palette. Now, I went into the purple, but I'm not going to go ahead and go right onto the stencil with that. I'm actually going to wipe it off a little bit, and then I'm going to start stenciling. All right, and to me... This is, I feel, the best way to stencil because I get the coverage that I want. It's very simple. If I want it to be darker, you still hold your stencil. Oh, let's make it a little bit darker. And there you go. All right. So um, these are my next two major I've got to have them um, art supplies. So this is one of the first two things that I put in any takeout, not takeout, any uh, travel case um, is, you know, I put in my washi. I make sure I have that. I make sure I have whatever background stamps I want. I make sure that I have some Dina Wakely paints or others. Um, I don't find the others travel as well. Some of the craft paints are all right, but... I like the Dina Wakely paints as far as traveling. I think they work the best. All right, now I have, I, this stencil is just awesome and I'll show you why. I can do all these really cool things with one stencil. So I've got these little bumpy bumps. I have a flower. I've got stars or crosses, whatever you want to call them. Triangles. Here's stars. Let's throw some stars on here. And we're going to do this in the the purple. I should have the right names of the colors down, but I don't. Look at that. So pretty, so pretty. Purple. And then we have this little loop-de-loop -loop here. So we're going to do some loop-de-loop. -loop. But you know what? I want to do loop-de-loop -loop in a different color. Now, I've been using this sponge interchangeably for the pink and the purple. I don't have any problem with that. But I am going to grab some lemon. I want to see what the... Um, pink and the purple was. This one is magenta, which is the pink, and the purple is blackberry violet. And we're going to use some lemon. Now for the lemon, because it's in a, you know, a different color family, I am going to get a different sponge. So this one looks like it's brand new. Here we go. Every time I see them on clearance or anywhere for a decent price, I'm like, I want them, I want them. And so I end up picking them up and I have all these duplicates, but that's okay. All right, so we're going to take our yellow or our lemon. Same thing. I'm just pulling it off onto the, the palette. And this is just a, um, oops, a cutting board. It's just a glass cutting board. This side, it's got the ridges on it. I just flipped over and I'm using the back. I think I got it at the thrifty for like a dollar. All right, so let's use this. And I want some of this real pretty yellow or lemon right along this edge. 
these paints, another thing I like about these paints is they're just so vibrant in color. And just so you guys know, um, Dina Wakely is not paying me to say any of this. This is just my opinion. And like I said, I'm showing you the products that I absolutely love. So, um, you know, I'm not getting compensated. This is true from my heart. I love these supplies. All right. And that goes for any of the supplies I use this week. Um, you know, I don't have any affiliations with any of these companies. So, we're just going to keep putting on our yellow. There we go. Close enough. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow here. And just because I have some on my, on my uh, spongy here, we're just going to put some yellow around. Why not? We'll do the same thing with the pink and the purple. Just add a little bit here and there. Okay. Now what are we making on this page? Huh. I don't know. Look at that stencil. I love this stencil. That's really cool. That's going to become one of my favorites. Oh, we have the triangles. We didn't use the triangles. You know what? I'm going to save that one for later. Now, I do have this one. This is the Andy Skinner. Um, and this one is called Baroque. But the reason I got it is it has these two wonderful faces. So what I'm going to do, because I already have the colors out, I'm going to just kind of put in a face here. And I'm going to do this in the purple, because I want to see what it looks like. And this is one thing you can do when you get your new stencils. You don't have to think about automatically um, that's kind of cool. Automatically making, you know, a page for just, you know, your brand new stencils. You don't have to do that. You can always just um, take your stencils and play with them. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just seeing what they actually do. You know, some of them you can tell. I mean, you know they're going to make circles. You know they're going to make hearts. You know they're going to make stars, that kind of thing. But when it comes to faces, I like to see what it's actually going to do for me. And I kind of like that. So what I'm going to do, I have my brushes here. I'm just going to grab my brush. And I'm just going to accent this a little bit more. So let's bring out a face. See the face here? I'm just kind of showing you the face. I like it. And again, it's not something, I'm not making a masterpiece. I'm none of that. I'm just playing. And you know, that's something we all forget to do is just, just enjoy it. Just play and have fun. Right? That's all we need to do. Just going to put a little bit of dark in here. A little bit of that purple. So I'm really excited to see what um, what your guys' uh, favorite products are. You know what 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 do you what is your go-to? When I start creating, I always use blank. And you know when I when I say you know these are my loved ones, they are. They're my loved art supplies. They're the ones that I don't ever want to run out of. They're the ones that, you know, make me happy. So yeah, they're my loved ones. And like I said, right now, I'm just, I'm messing around. That's all I'm doing. I'm not looking to make a beautiful woman. I'm not, I'm just messing around. All right. And again, that's part of what art is and journaling. And this is a composition notebook. This is not a Picasso, um, you know, I've got to get it beautiful painting. No, not at all. I'm playing. Why not? Okay, that's what we're here for. We're here to play. Doo -doo. You know, am I a perfectionist? Absolutely not. Am I going to do everything realistic? Absolutely not. That's not what I'm doing. I am enjoying myself. I'm having fun. Um, I hope I'm inspiring other people to just play and just enjoy what you do. Okay? That's my goal. It's just Let's, let's, you know, have fun with this. I am going to 
I just did something I normally don't do is I wiped all that paint off that paintbrush in the water. Normally, where's my stuff that I have it done on? Now, this is the, um, you guys will see this another time, but this is a, a journal that I like to wipe paint off onto. All right, see, you've seen it before where I've wiped off paint. All right, so here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do it with the yellow. You know, this is this is the stencil, which is all good. It's all good. You know, and, and I could actually take this and I could, um, you know, make, do a bunch of doodles and stuff on here. I might. You know, and I just drew that kind of like a little heart there. I don't mind. It's okay. It's all good. All right. Okay, now. So here's number two. And no, number three and number four. First one is <laughs> my background stamps. That's number one. Number two is my washi. Number three, Dina Wakely paints. Number four, my stencils, right? Okay. Let me dry this up. I'll be right back. I went to dry this up and then I decided, no, I didn't like this yellow. So let's put some, we're gonna bring the face out. Just a little. Just a little, a little bit for you. Don't mind me. Do, 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 do. Isn't she cute? Yeah, she's got a little heart for her face. That's okay. It's all good. Love to just play and paint. I, I just, I enjoy the feel of just playing and paint. Why not? You know, so much fun. So much fun. Okay. I might wipe it off on my little thing here. Which that looks like it's got an awful lot on it. So we gotta find another one. All right, I like her better with a heart face. <laughs> she looks kind of funny, doesn't she? <laughs> love it. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're all dried up. And now I'm going to talk to you about my number fifth must have art supply. I'm sure you guys recognize these. It is the Sharpie. <laughs> and I'm sorry if you hear my cat growling in the background. I had to take his sister to the vet the other day and now he doesn't recognize her. So we have to go through this for about four days before he finally has, hey, she lives here before. All right, it's the Sharpie. Now, there's a lot of different ways and shapes and styles of the Sharpie. I like the clickable. These are the ultra fine retractable Sharpies. And just to show you, it, they do a real thin, fine line, just like um, a regular pen, okay? So that is this style of a Sharpie. I love to use these, especially in art journaling. I'm not worried about, number one, it's not gonna come through on the back because there's two layers of paper here, all right? Uh, and number two, I'm not really worried about it if it does. As far as I'm concerned, it just gives some extra texture to the background. So this is the number one. This one's the fine liner. Um, what did I say, ultra fine? Ultra fine Sharpie. The next one, this is another Sharpie, which is retractable. This one is called the Fine. And if you notice the difference, see if I can show you. See the difference in the tips? This one is like a pen, and this one's more like a marker. It's got that, the tip on it. So, there it is. So this one actually has a bolder, um, color to a bolder line to it right so 
So that is retractable. We have the regular plain old Sharpie. Uh, this one says it's a fine point. This is pretty much this without the retractable to it. All right, so it's pretty much the same thing. And this is the fine point. So, um, actually, let me just do another line in here. So if you notice, they're pretty much the same as far as the mark that they make. It's the same uh, size line, okay? So that's just the one where you have to put the cap on, all right? Then they've got these other two. Um, these are both called, well, actually, this one is called a professional. I don't know why. It's got a chisel tip, so it will give you those long All right, see the difference? It'll give you those long, wide, flat um, things if you want, marks if you want. So, you know, we can hold it and just do a long, wide. We can do a thin, or we can do a, you know, a thin line. So the chisel tip's nice depending on what you want to use it for. Um, I don't use this one as often as I should, but um, I enjoy having the Sharpies. The last one, this is called the King Size Sharpie. I absolutely love this. And again, this is a chisel tip. I don't know really what the difference is between these two. Um, they're both permanent, of course, as you know, Sharpies are. Okay, the chisel head, um, this is the one, the chisel, the one we talked about before. This one has a thinner tip here and I'll show you there's the tip on that one there's the tip on that one so see the difference so this one is just if you're looking for something to um, cover up or to really make a big mark with I mean you're talking a big mark okay that's this one if you want something to make smaller marks in it you can use this chisel it works no big deal all right so sharpies this is my fifth must-have supply um, there also is one other sharpie this is the stainless steel pen. This is a Sharpie pen. And this is exactly what it says it is. It's a pen. And it gives you very, very fine lines, just like if you were writing. Okay. It just gives you a very fine... So this is the, like I said, this is the stainless steel uh, pen. It does, um, they do sell refillable inks for this. Right there's the um, cartridge. So they do sell refills, refills for this because this pen isn't really cheap. I think this pen was like, I don't know, eight or seven or eight dollars, nine dollars maybe. And then you just get the inks, um, the refill inks. All right, so there you guys go. We've got three different, don't worry about the space. I'm not worried about it. Um, we've got three more supplies that are part of my loved supplies. We have the stencils. We have the Dina Wakely paints, right? And we also have my Sharpies. So again, if I had to go somewhere and I had to take something, I would take my you know my um, of course my black ink pad with my my silicone mark making tools stamps washi tape of course stencils paint and sharpies and actually out of those five supplies I'd be happy oh make a six I gotta have my sponge <laughs> all right so just a little bit of um, you know tips and tricks and what I enjoy and and you know why I use them and I hope you guys have enjoyed I'd love to see what you do on your next page um, like I said this is just a play page it's it's all good I don't care I don't mind I've just enjoyed playing with it 
I do need to add on to this, and I probably should do this in a different color crayon, a different color pen. But I want my um, do, 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 my stencils and my Dina Wakely paint. And my Sharpies. All right. All right, so there we are. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Uh, definitely, um, you know, let me know what you think. And we're going to be coming back either tomorrow or the next day with some more um, art supplies. I'm actually going to do a, like a little mini lesson. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And... As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you later on. Have a good day. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.